everybody. Hi. Hi. I'm Michael, uh, Michael Casey, Austin, Texas. I'm with Eight Dates. And uh, the tech team and I got together and decided we were gonna come up with a dating app. And here's how it works. The guys pick whoever they want, and the woman does all the work. And we're, we're calling it marriage. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it's a joke, but we're actually doing the opposite. And that's why uh, there's a little truth in justice. The woman picks, and we do all the work. And so what 8 Dates is about to do is to solve some of the problems that exist in the dating space. And women are not happy with the current offerings that are out there. They're getting catfished. They're getting stood up. Um, catfishing, for those of you who don't know, is a guy will put up a picture when he's 20 years younger, and she does a lot of work and shows up to meet him for coffee, and he's not who she thought he was. And then she's disappointed. Yet, still, they join these apps, they look for romance, and they think, well, maybe, you know, maybe I'll find this the right time out. But they leave a lot of to chance, and they're paying for that. So here's some of the uh, complaints that we've heard in the marketplace. You know, I can't believe I, I had even met the guy. I was really scared, I didn't know what to do. So you're constantly sitting there waiting to see who's gonna show up. And what, when our parents, were, were dating, it was totally different. You know, your dads, your grandfathers, actually romanced our grandmothers and our mothers. And with the current market that's out there where people are just swiping, hot or not, guys don't really know how to date. They just totally were either never taught or they're just become lazy daters because technology has allowed them to do that. And the current app offerings, we don't really have this going on in the marketplace. And that's why our parents have been together, you know, 50, 60 years. And now everyone's getting divorced because the way we got into it was just, you know, hot or not. So we're going to try to bring back a little bit of romance to the dating space. And the technology is there to really make it special. We're eight dates. What we do is we recommend romance. Every other dating app in the market just hooks you up. It's like Lola, meet Jack, see you later. So they make money by doing that, yet the dating economy which exists is much larger than the membership model. And technology has arrived to where you can actually take over and manage the dates once you put them together. And the way we match people together is different than anyone else also. Remember I said that women were complaining about maybe it's not who I thought he was, look different. We have a really nice onboarding system where we have Jack do a little snap video, answers the fun question that she asked, verifies that he is who he says he is, and then they go right into the recommending. So this is what our screens will look like when you're actually in the recommendation part of the app. Cooking class, swing dancing, Habitat for Humanity, we promote charity in the app, hot air balloon ride, soul cycle, projects and events and activities that guys just don't come up with on their own. Well, now we do the work for them and we make them look great. There's 40 million people on dating apps in the United States, over 400 million people globally. It might even be more than that. It's very hard to track in some of the other countries. But more and more people are becoming comfortable with it. And, and in some countries, that's the only thing they use to meet people. We're going after a market that we believe is underserved, 28 to 70 year olds. The 19 year olds, they're still gonna swipe, go get drunk and do whatever they do in college. But what about a woman who has two kids? So got divorced. I spent the rest of my life talking about dates, but uh, your time is over. Oh, my time's over? Okay, well. On this stage. All right. My time's not, over. Not, so not, anyway, not in it. your romantic life. So, I'm sorry I took too much time, guys. I apologize. I didn't get to get to the, the money part of the app. But um, this is just our, our team. I'll, I'll finish it up. Um, our team has done over $3 billion in consumer sales with products globally. We, so we really are good at customer acquisition. That's how we're going to get people to the app. And our raise right now is 630000 And we're all about meaningful shared experiences. Great. Thank you yeah, very sorry. much. Did I get you right that you are kind of a Tinder plus entertainment? So we're basically, yes, we're a dating app with Google, Eventsprite, uh, recommendation engine built on top of that. And you are making money not only... Uh, uh, so we'd be the first dating app that actually makes money from affiliates that we've done business with. Oh. When you go out, we get paid by where you went. 
So we'll send you to places and participate in the dating economy. Is your team all single? Are we all single? <laughs> um, I think so, yeah, actually. No, one, the CEO is married. But we do have advisors, a lot of females. He knows something probably already. It's funny you say that. Um, all right, that's a great, or a great question. Well, first of all, it rhymes. And, and we, well, no, it takes eight dates to properly vet a guy, according to studies in the U.S. And women were complaining that. You know, they, after three or four dates, they give it up in the guy and that disappoints them. They want to wait longer. So if you want me, you got to put in a little bit of work. More dates, more pleasure. That's why not? Yeah, and plus, you know, it's fun. The experience is fun that we build. The eight dates yes. get a lot more, um, you know, the overnight comes on the eighth date. And you could get separate rooms if you want or one. So we really take you through a really nice, uh, it's almost like the bachelorette in, in the U.S. Anybody interested in dates? Thank you. You can talk to Michael later. Thanks, guys.